Hello lords and ladies, my name is Archaic King. Welcome back to my Witcher 3 Let's Play, where we're ever naked. We're about to get some clothes on. I guess I get pick of what I want to wear. Uh, uh, I think I like this one better. Shit. It took it all. Okay, gotta get dressed. Gotta get dressed. Gotta get dressed. There we go. Don't I look sexy? Alright. Now I just gotta talk to him. And they say clothes do not make the man. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? Eh, fuck. It's fine. A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the north and south. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. That's a ridiculous way to bow. Oh crap. I forgot what he said. I didn't know I had to remember. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Once more. Fuck you, dude. Shit. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. So it's left leg? Lacking fluidity and grace, but we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Damn. Did not know I'd be tested today. The gentleman will address <laughs> the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the Emperor might not share his disposition. Your Majesty will suffice. Spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Alright. I'm just taking all your fucking shit, man. Okay, I guess nothing else in here to loot. Actually, I might be missing something. I hope not. Hold on, let's see. Ah, yeah, there's some stuff here. Why is this stuff lighting up? Take it, take it all, I'm taking all your stuff. Okay, can't go that way. Is there anything back here? A veggie me. Directly out of northern Mexico. You can't see them. <laughs> I'm taking everything. A shame I have no time. Shut up, man. I'm just looting everything. That's good, that's what I needed. All right, that's about it. All right, now I'll join the gentleman outside. Sorry I'm cursing so much in this video. <laughs> I'm just on a, been having a rough, been having a rough day, so. I doubt there's anything to loot here. Maybe I'll have time to explore later. Lead the way. Flower? I was trying to insult him. Eh. Oh god, you guys all look terrible. <laughs> in Grimmy at Art Kerz. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir bar Emreis. Bow.
Fuck off. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer et do orde. Avelian namen vat gern verbot. I will not bow to you. Is that Unifer right there? I think it was. She was just dressed fancy. Yet you still have unmastered the basics of etiquette. You know what they say? Can't teach an old wolf new tricks. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days. So silence. My daughter Cyrilla, she's returned. And she's in danger. Well, she's an ugly child. Pursue her. You will find her and bring her to me. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanafu will do that after the audience. How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me, yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me, only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. This audience is finished. Meredith! He looks like a vampire. Take him to the straight soldiers. up. Maybe I can kill him. I'd like to kill him. It would be satisfying. I barely know the guy, but it has been. Did not understand. Did I not emphasize adequately that one must bow to the emperor? Relax. Nothing happened. To the gentleman. But I shall be punished. How? Please keep close and bother no one. We have enough breaches of etiquette for one day. You deserve to be punished. Past noon. Calm yourself. What? what? Do you know who you're talking to, soldier? Dang. There are a lot of people here. I would like to steal things. Oh. A rusty bread knife. That's not going to fetch me much, but... I'll take it. Hurry up, Chamberlain. I want to get this... Sh I want to get this stuff done. Man, we are walking really slow, and I have no idea where we're going. Why are we? I can use my Witcher senses, and then I can run. Maybe I can find something, something of interest. Ooh, new plants I've never seen before. Maybe? No, I've ha I've had those, and I've had that. Whatever. I cannot jump right now. Because that would be rude. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. <sighs> Alrighty then. A quill sharpened yet? Yes. I've been transcribed. The true authority in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchants' guild. Uh, phallic much? <laughs> and the criminal underworld. At times, it is difficult to tell the one from the other. Let me just steal everything I can find. Cynicism that please wait your excellency falling behind. You know what? Nice. You'll need only for Let me just steal everything before I talk to Yinafa. Oh, there's a bookcase. Man, I'm finding everything. I'll probably read those uh when I have time. 
but I don't want to read it on uh, on screen. It takes too much time, and you guys don't want to see that. Screw you, flames! Oh, oh, I can extinguish that too. All right, have I looted this over here? No, not yet. Man, I'm finding a lot of stuff. I'm going to have to sell some of this stuff because I can't carry everything. Oh, cutscene. Geralt, that tunic, you look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? It seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken? Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morhen. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. <laughs> I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Ciri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd trip them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt, before the Wild Hunt does. The Wild Hunt? What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood, her gift. As for what the hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun, your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Damn. I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, all right? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. But I did lose my memory. Women. It's like, even if you lost your memory, you should have known. It's like, no, that's not how memory works. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. 
headed your way? Oh, and you really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me in one piece. Yo 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 yo, make way for one piece. I, I had to make the joke, I'm sorry. Oh, retrieve your equipment from the Chamberlain. But it looks like I could probably talk to that other guy. Oh, is she? Um. Okay. That's not disturbing. No? Okay. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. But I will, prob I will probably end up being a hero and talking to everybody. Well, actually, I'm surprised I haven't just talked to everybody. I don't know. In games like Skyrim, I talk to, like, as many people as I possibly can. But you guys don't want to see me talk to everybody. One time I was playing Skyrim, and my friend Daniel, he was, uh... <laughs> He was watching me play, and I ran around, uh, I don't even remember what town it was, but I ran around all over. The first thing I did when I got to the town was talk to everybody, and he was like, do something, please. And I was like, no. Uh, Scars healed nicely. I was like, whoa, what, 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 what is this? Oh, uh, motion blur, uh, the blur or whatever. Ooh. See, the last wish. Isn't it actually one of the names of the novels? I think so. Oh God, I like all this. I should also, I should use the uh, the crossbow more often. Oh, I got wire. Oh God, there was something I needed wire for. I just don't remember what it was. There's just so much good stuff. Stuff. Actually, you, people who have been playing Witcher 3 a lot longer than me, they're probably thinking, dude, no. Some of that kind of, some of that stuff is actually kind of crappy. All right, who do I need to talk to? Uh, the ambassador, right? Ambassador Varatra. Yennefer suggested I ask you about current events, the war and so on. Of course. The Emperor's servants should keep no secrets from each other. If you will, let us approach the map. All right, guys, sit down. Brew some coffee. We're about to get... We're about to get into some dialogue. Okay, uh, how's the war going? We'll start off with that. How's the war going? I mean, apart from the fact that Nilfgaard's triumph is imminent. I assume this to be a private conversation. We've no witnesses, so let's dispense with the propaganda, even that shrouded in irony. Our offensive was going splendidly until winter came. Edern was in such disarray that we encountered no resistance. We had reached the Pontar before the first snows. Only a weakened Kedwin remained, and Radovid's Redania, which had ignored the rest of the North's pleas for help. We thought they'd sue for peace, perhaps even submit to vassalization. We waited for spring, certain of victory. Radovid? Submit? Yes, a vain hope I agree. Radovid sent no peace envoy, nor did he advance on our positions. Instead, he trudged over the snow-bound Kestrel Mountains and attacked Kedwin, his ally. This attack took the Kedweni by surprise. They were still mourning the loss of their king. Rudderless and dejected, they laid down their arms after a few lost skirmishes and joined Radovid. And so by spring, Instead of two weak enemies, we had only one powerful one. That's smart. What about Kavir? Kavir values its neutrality. Enough not to lend its armies, or more importantly, even its coin to either side. Returning to the war, this spring there was a massive battle in the marshes of Velen. Massive, yet indecisive. Both sides suffered enormous losses. Unprecedented, even. Radovid has retreated across the Pontar. He's safe for now, until reinforcements arrive from the south. Then Emperor Emir Var Emrys will deal with him once and for all. Couldn't you just go home? Save everyone a lot of marching, not to mention a few human lives. 
I'm afraid the stakes are too high to fold now. We can only go all in. Hmm. How do things look in Velen? As bad as ever. Perhaps worse. This land never flowed with milk and honey, and now it flows with blood. Armies have swept through it several times, trampling fields, looting granaries, burning villages. Famine grips the populace. Mm -hmm. So how's ruling that earthly paradise going for you? Not well, to be honest. Our forces are spread thin as it is, and Velen is chiefly swampy forests that are difficult to control. We've had several patrols never return to their camps. Thus, we've temporarily delegated authority in this region to a certain Nordling, a former low-ranking officer in the Temerian army, one Philip Strenger, better known by his nom de guerre, the Bloody Baron. I advise you well, avoid him. Any news from Novigrad? Is the free city still free? Yes. Although everyone knows this won't last. Radovid is in Oxenfurt, and the Emperor is here in Vizima, at Novigrad's doorstep, both. And both require coin and ships, and Novigrad can provide these. Which is why the mood in the city is rather, well, on edge. Meaning? How do men deal with fear? They seek reassurance and scapegoats. The Church of the Eternal Fire understands this perfectly, and so it promises to improve the lives of its flock by pointing out the guilty. Who started the war? Who profits from it? Why, it's obvious. Mages, elves, dwarves, in a word, any and all deviants. I've been stationed in Novigrad for 13 years. First as a consul, then as ambassador. I've seen a great deal. Cruelty, cynicism, greed. But what is happening there now concerns me greatly. And finally, what's latest from Skellig? In Skellige. Nothing. The islanders pride themselves on that, don't they? Doing everything according to tradition, as their forefathers did. And like their forefathers, they quarrel with each other. Pillage. Occasionally attack our transports. This is cumbersome. But nothing more. Skellige has always been a footnote to history. And so it shall remain. Sound awfully confident. What if King Bran manages to unite the Jarls? Lead all the clans against your fleet? King Bran is a feeble old man. From what I know, he barely remembers the names of his own vassals. Uniting all might prove difficult. All right. And that was been your history lesson for the day. <laughs> Thanks for your help. Think nothing of it. May the great sun light your path. All right, I believe we are to go to the Chamberlain now and retrieve our equipment, which is going to be fine because I'm tiring of these terrible outfits. There he is. How might I serve the gentleman? By returning my things. Citrus and cloves. The fragrance will keep the gentleman's robes fresh somewhat longer. Thanks, Bunches. The Emperor is not known for his patience. He wants his daughter back safe and sound, as soon as possible. Yeah, mention something of the sort. I'll try, but no promises. Oh, so the next big quest is to travel to Velen. But like the prologue, lords and ladies, we all know I will most likely be doing as many side qu uh, secondary quests really uh, as I'm possible as I can really for example there's one right here so let's go ahead and check it out before we end today's video where are, where is he I'm assuming that's him right there oh what no 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 Screw that quest. Not in your life. I do not like Gwent. I do not like it at all. Alright. Um, let's find our way out of here then. Should it be this way. A 
any quests in here. Uh, nope. So let's just get the heck out of here. Oh, fast travel. Uh, okay. Oh, crap. I can go anywhere? I could go back to White Orchard. I don't think they would have... I don't think they'd have any quests for me there. I mean, we're not really going to have much time to do anything. But, I mean, should I go check it out? See if there's any more quests that popped up? Oh, actually, I could just do that. And then I can look and see if any quests popped up. Oops. Um... Doesn't look like anything really popped up. I mean, I could always go and check the signboard, the board or whatever. But I have a feeling that it's not going to show me anything. I might, I mean, I, I might do it off screen. We're not going to have very much. We're not going to have much longer before the video ends. But I never did check out these uh, undiscovered locations. I'll probably do that in between episodes. And if anything interesting pops up, I'll probably just let you guys know. For now, uh, we should probably. Can I go anywhere? Uh, I should probably just head to Velen. It's probably not good to just uh, go anywhere because <laughs> it might not be good. All right, so Velen, here we come. All righty then. Oh uh, yeah. Ooh, bunch of signboards. Two at least. Probably three somewhere down there. So where do we want to go first? Hangman's tree. During the war, both sides committed acts of exorbitant cruelty meant to keep the. Geralt and Yennefer were reunited, but something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. I see why they call it Hangman's Tree now. A lot of dead people. A lot of dead people. Oh boy. Oh hey, there's my trophy from the Griffin. That's epic. All right, go to the end at the crossroads. Oh, I will. Oh, God, there's a lot of enemies down there. But let's check the world map. Let's see. So the end is this way, right? Eh, no use chasing quests right now. I should just follow this path. We don't have very much long. Uh, we don't have much long in the video. It's probably going to come to an end. Oh god. Sheesh. Everything looks Run, Roach. very fun. Uh okay. Where's the inn? New marker Mul uh Mulberdale. This must be where I am, huh? How far is the inn? Can't be that far. Wow, people cry everywhere. Get over it! The inn must be further up ahead. That was just... Oh yeah, that was just a signpost that I saw. Um, the inn is actually much further. Anyways, actually, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I'm uh, probably going to check the signpost. Or the signboard back here. Notice board. Why do I keep calling it the signboard? That doesn't make sense. I don't know, I'm sorry. Uh, probably going to check that in between episodes to get started on some quests. And much like per the prologue, we will be doing the secondary quest first, then doing the main quest. Kind of backwards. Well, not really. Not really. Uh, but this is kind of the first game that I've seen in a long time that's emphasized, hey, you should probably do the secondary quest first. Whereas in other RPGs, it's just like, oh, hey, get distracted with the Dark Brotherhood stuff, you know. The usual. 
Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like or comment. Uh, or consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And there will be links to in the description to where you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I urge you guys to follow me on there because nobody else seems to. You guys, you, you, you can stay up to date. Like, if you want to know when a video is coming out, I'll post it. And you'll know if it's late. Anywho, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.